I'm Rachel and I'm Joe and we are two, two crazy, crazy ketos. ketos and if you're new to our channel welcome here on two crazy ketos we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews we talk about various keto topics and then every Monday we sit down on the couch for keto on the couch we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week you can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook Instagram and Twitter and we have a website which is two crazy and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time. It's date day! <laughs> You'll be alerted to it. It's date day and we're going to Sam's Club. Is that right? That's right. Sam's Club and maybe BJ's. I feel like my grandmother, who would always dress up to mm -hmm. go to town, she would call it going, going to town. So right. going to the grocery store, it was pantyhose, skirt, you know, the slip, the the, the good bra, mm -hmm. like everything. Sometimes a hat. Well, you look really pretty today. Thank you. I just thought, you know, if that we That dress can't, is too big on you now already. If we can't have cool weather, can we just dress up in cute summery clothes and well, just embrace like it. it? Thank you very much. I really like it. We're going to have to take a thrift store morning? shopping though because that dress is too big too. I got so upset yesterday. I was talking to mommy because I treated myself yesterday to morning coffee at my mom's house. So I looked like a total nut, but I feel like everybody in the neighborhood already knows I'm crazy. So I had my coffee in one hand and my creamy with the keto the chow ice cream. ice cream. And I'm just walking down the street. Hi, how how are you? Because it's completely normal to be like 7.30 just out walking your ice cream for, for a walk. But my mom said, Rachel, I've got bad news. And I was like, what? And she said, our good thrift store is no longer doing the 50% off days. Now they're doing 35% off. Oh, wow. What? Wait a minute now. Why are you making me do 35% off math? I was going to say like, hey, what's... Okay, so... Yeah, it's it's fifteen percent missing, but you're getting shirts for like a dollar as it is. So this is not egg and butter. It is not egg and butter. This tastes like the, our Irish cream. It well, it's Bones Irish cream coffee mm. with between the two of us one packet of oh, the wow. Irish cream from Keto Chow. Oh my I don't know, gosh! A flavor that we developed. I thought it might taste good. It tastes really good. And then one tablespoon of butter each. So, 
Pretty similar to having the egg in the coffee. Oh my gosh. Right? Because an egg is going to be 70 calories. This is 126 calories if you're counting calories. So, wow. you know, it, it's a little bit extra, but you're still, the goal is, the goal of the egg is to add some extra protein. Plus it makes it really creamy. And now we're just going to, I just use this instead because I like. I feel like it's a date drink. Why not have Irish cream with Irish cream? This feels very Starbucks-y. Mm -hmm. So, and I don't, I mean, Bones is, we really like their coffee. Like yeah. it's really good. You, you taste it in the beans. You know, yeah. a lot of times things will be like, this is the flavor of the coffee. And I'm like, is it? Right. I can smell it when I open the bag. Right. But I don't taste it when I drink the coffee. But you taste it in the bones. But I with the Irish cream. Tastes really good. Oh my gosh. It's so good. With the keto chow. <laughs> what do you have over there? I have. Okay. Are you drinking Zipfizz? You said you were going to do Zipfizz. Does Redmond have a camera in our house or something? As soon as... I am ready to reincorporate Zip Fizz drinks because I still have been using the pills. Right. I, or capsules or whatever we're calling it. The, 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 you mean the Redmond? The tabs, yeah, the for capsules. electrolytes because I love them. Right. They're super convenient. And they're cheaper than the powder. But I did wake up like, I think I'm ready to, to incorporate Zip Fizz back in. Okay. But then the boost... We got the boost on on the on the shelf. Yeah. yeah, well, it just came in the other day. And I'm like, how did they know I'm ready to reincorporate Zipfizz? Because I would rather go with something that has no carbs, right. And doesn't give me the jitters. Because right. I do get a little bit of the shakes from the Zipfizz, but it tastes good. So I'm like, eh, I'll just ignore that a right. little bit. So I love this because it really tastes good. I can take it along. Tastes good. No carbs. No jitters. Okay. I like that. Well, let's test that for a little while. Yeah. Because that, I mean, I like Zip. I love the taste of Zip, zip, zip Fizz. <laughs> but, you know, first of all, that's going to be really sweet when we try the Zip Fizz again. Because we haven't had, like, any kind of real sweetener. I mean, we had a little bit in the pudding. Well, we tasted this, like, two days ago, and I yeah, loved it. But it, but I'm curious. It's not as sweet as Zip Fizz. Oh, and no. I'm finding that is sweet. So I can't even imagine what Zip Fizz is going to be like when we put that on our, uh, you know, onto our tongue. But my thought is, like, do I even need it if I'm super satisfied? Like, right. what do I want to reintroduce, you know, if I'm not, if I'm satisfied with this, why am I trying to up my sweetener threshold? You know, I'm pretty sure that Redmond is not, like, figuring out what kind of thing does Rachel need in six months. Because well, that's probably how long they've been developing that product. Maybe I've got my life right and I'm lining up with them, right? That's like good. maybe maybe that's what's happening. Okay, enough about that. Uh, on to our uh, day. So I've got the combi oven over here, or the precision oven. It is going through its like burn off the nonsense off of the elements. Oh, is it like when you turn on the heater and no, you have to I burn the hair No, I don't smell anything. Out? I'm just following the instructions. All right. There you was know, no hair in sometimes that. Sometimes there's like packing grease and no stuff. No so oven hair. Sort of burn it off. Uh, there's no instructions really with it. Thanks for that. So there's how to set it up, but there's no, this is when you use this and this is when you use that. Do you notice, because I've noticed lately, the more expensive the item the less clear the instructions. Oh, I know. And it should be the opposite. I don't need a booklet to operate a pair of scissors. Right. But if we are putting together a rowing machine or like, or some intricate oven, I really could handle a cookbook, uh, well, you know, all well, kinds of stuff. Let me get there. Now, again, I don't mind if a company is trying to save paper and be more environmental and not include an instruction manual well, like with how to use it. Something but, on the package? Well, no, I don't even need that. Give me like one of those little cards inside that yes. goes, here's a QR code, scan this, and you can see our entire user manual online. I'm fine with Super that. Super fine with that. They don't have that with this oven. And that's what a lot of things are coming. Instead, this is so good. <laughs> there's an app because this is connected. So it's connected to your Wi-Fi. There's functionality on the screen itself, but it's easier to use the app. So I have to put the app on your phone because on here you have to figure out which heating element do I want. Do I want the top, the back, or the bottom? And you need to know which one you're going to use 
for what? So for example, if you want to air fry, then I think it's the top and the sides. But if you want to dehydrate, you only use the bottom one. And you have to know all of that mm -hmm. if you want to use the handle. Yes. Okay. If you just have the app, you can open up the app and say, I want to reheat a pizza. And you press one button and it will turn on all of the appropriate That's settings amazing. on there. So the app is kind of necessary. They say you can use it without it, but there's not even a lot of instructions on the app. Like, hey, I want to cook it. No, it's, it's included okay. with it. But if you want it, there's, there's some recipes on there, but there's not basic things like, it doesn't even tell you, use this heating element when you want to cook a chicken. It doesn't tell you that. So you kind of have to scan through the recipes and then look online. So that's one thing I would, I'd kind of make that like a downside, but when we do a review of it, we'll talk about that. But overall, I mean, I like the size of it and everything, but I don't even know. Am I supposed to put a pan on the bottom to catch drippings because there's a heating element down there? They could there? easily screw this up. Easily. I well, mean, they, they, they don't know us. <laughs> they don't know what we're capable of. But it is all set up. I think I've got everything. I did have a problem connecting to Wi-Fi, but that's because of our Wi-Fi. Because they make all these things where they can only connect to 2.4 band and... Our router does not allow you to separate the 2.4 to the 5. I know, nerd, nerd, nerd. Uh, so what this I had to do very technical is you have to go onto the your router app. Right. You have to lower the frequency of the five uh, frequent the five gigahertz frequency, and then I have to disconnect my Wi-Fi from my phone. I have to go out to the street and then reconnect to our internet because no. 5G. 5 gigahertz does not go very far. It's faster. Like, you know when you look on your phone, 2.4 or 5 gigahertz? Okay. Um, it's faster to connect to 5, but it doesn't go as far. So the 5 gigahertz doesn't reach the street. And so if I go out to the street, my phone will connect to 2.4. Then you have to come back inside and now try oh, to connect no. to the oven. This but now it's all set up. This does not seem like an appliance we want to purchase for my mother for Christmas. Well, that's only if you want to connect it to the internet. Like, we can go to Sam's Club and I can have a chicken in there. And then an hour before we're going to be home, you hit start and it will start it for you, us while we're gone. You that's have cool. To, that is very cool. And monitor temperature. If you're you soothing. will have to put a little post-it note on the cabinet above that says, don't turn me off. Because I'm going to guarantee you. Caleb will turn it off. Caleb is just like me. It's like. I don't think my parents realize that they're still cooking food and no one is here and we're going to have like a dangerous situation. So Do you have any idea how many times I've he's started gonna unplug it. our rec tech grill when yes. I'm like, there's nobody home and nobody will be home in for 45 minutes. And I just go on the app la, 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 and I hit la, la, la. start uh -huh. and it starts that thing up. So when I come home, it's all preheated and everything or uh, cooking a brisket. I'm not staying home for 15 hours. Let that thing burn. That's our what guardian the idea angel is. is working overtime. <laughs> All the time. Okay, let's do this. So we're going to go to Sam's Club. We're going to get a couple of chickens. Um, I'm hoping they come out as good as I want them to be because honestly, if you want to do chicken the right way, both in here and even a rotisserie, you should salt brine it for about a day. But so I want to eat later. Crispy skin. Right. So I'm going to salt brine it for a few hours. So okay. it, the skin may not get as crispy as I want it, but we're going to do our best. Thank you. Excuse me. Yes. What's wrong with this picture down there? The air conditioner is not on. The air conditioner can't be on because we're talking. I'm talking about what's going on down here. The fact that I have both cup holders. I have my own cup. Can Aww. I have a cup holder, please? Well, let me see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with hot first. So, yeah, you can have that one. Why are you smiling? I'm so excited to go to Sam's Club. We've reached that age. We're old. That point in our marriage where it's like date night at the... At this the, guy is close to us. I know. <laughs> store. But little adventure in the parking lot. Like, will we get run over? So I'm seeing a bunch of comments on the 11 on 11 live stream. People want us to do it again next year. I'm in. I'm totally in. It's a year away. Do we have to plan that now? I guess we should probably start. I'll start working on my outline. This really is a date day. Rachel wants to look down every single aisle in Sam's Club. I get sucked into the $14 oversized throws. We have so many of those. We don't even have any more room to put these things. Don't you think that is the best present? What is the best present for somebody 
maybe you're not besties with, but you need to purchase a present for them. I think a throw is always good. So last night on the Hungry Horde live stream, they were talking about pets and how Shelly is not allowed to go to a dog show because she wants to come home with a dog. Right. And I said, I constantly catch Rachel on Pet Finder. Always. Like you're, always, you're, you're banned from going to pet stores. You're banned from going to dog shows, okay, animal so auctions, any of that kind of stuff. Because she wants to come home with a pet. Heath, of course, said, you guys already have an animal house. Stop looking at pets, Rachel. I know. Well, there's always, like, I, I will look and see, is there a blind animal, an animal that only has three legs? Like, some somebody that needs a home, they're having a hard time placing this animal. It's just, like, you know that you have a home with love for animals, so yeah. She I'm almost came home with a goat once. I really like this set. For $18, this is a really good deal. I love the Kong brand toys for Tabitha because she is hard on her toys, and I think it's time to replace some, Dad. They're like super ratty. Some of them are scary looking. Okay, just get them. I gotta open the Scan and Go app. The best thing about Sam's Club. I'm gonna use my super chat money and get some fresh underwear like everybody asked. Four pair for $13 and they don't have a cheetah print on them. What? I, I know why the camera is on because we just passed by something I can now have. You can get love. a box if you want. Can I get a box? Yes. I mean, it's $20, but you get- At this point, it's getting 15. cheaper than beef to buy this. But these things are so stinking good. This is my absolute favorite straight out of the freezer patties that are ready to go. They're so tasty. I kind of want to try wings again, but rather than going to Buffalo Wild Wings, I'm thinking let's just get a bag of this at $3 a pound and have a nice big 10 pound bag of chicken wings. I just found this in the freezer section and I got a little bit excited. It's only $8.98 and you get a 24 variety pack, but if you turn over on the nutrition side, you see that, yeah, if you only eat the, the these things, the Jello, then you're, you're looking at zero total carbs. But in this same pack together are some puddings that are 11 total carbs and 10 total carbs per serving. So I'm not gonna have this in my house because I won't stay here. I'm gonna drift over here. I would rather get this separately if I want it and then make the Maria Emmerich chocolate pudding and, and do better with my carbs. So we need some bacon. We do have some curing right now, but it's not quite ready. I'm trying a different method. I'm trying a wet brine method for the bacon this time. So we're gonna buy some bacon and this is normally what we buy, this ripe bacon. Now this is zero carbs, but there is sugar that they use in the cure, which I don't worry about. People ask us all the time, like I can't find bacon that doesn't have sugar. Don't worry about it. It's just part of the cure. Most of it's gonna get cooked off when you know, you're know you preparing it. And even Dr. Berry's mentioned, don't worry about the sugar. So long as you're not buying like a honey bacon where there's a bunch of it and carbs and all that. This still registers at zero carb for a serving. They do have this one though. This is, it says it's like a limited time thing. It's the Greenfield Natural Meat Company, zero sugar. It is a dollar more a pound. And since it's thick cut, I'm gonna try it. Normally I would just buy this one because I know what this does as a thick cut. But since it's only a dollar more a pound, we'll go ahead and try this one just to see how it goes. I am definitely picking up some of the Chef Chamois for Thanksgiving. This stuff is so good. I highly recommend the garlic butter and the French onion butter. Super, super tasty, very, very flavorful. Here's a good deal if you want to get a bunch of eggs, if you can go through them. Seven and a half dozen eggs for $9.42. So that's $1.26 a dozen. We need butter. We're gonna go for the... Remember? Salted. Never buy unsalted. I can't stand unsalted. And then I can't Me leave neither. it on the countertop. We're not doing a cheese calendar this year. But I have a feeling that this probably at least has more flavor to it than the Aldi one that we purchased last year, just because it seems like there's some sharper cheeses in here. They're still pretty much going to be just plain cheeses. If I'm going to do it, I like want, you know, artisanal cheeses, yeah. things you can't just go buy in a packet. People keep asking us, what are the sausages we eat? It's these right here, these beef smoked sausages from Sam's Club. I like these better than the ones that are at Costco because the ingredients are much cleaner. So a whole sausage is two total carbs, but I'm not worrying about that. It just comes from all of the spices that are in here and the ingredients are beef, water, and then 2% or less of vinegar, 
sea salt, spices. There's a little bit of sugar in there for the cure process, granulated garlic, cultured celery powder, and natural pork casings. Much cleaner than the ones that they have at Costco. I think we're gonna get another bottom round or maybe a couple of them. Normally I would buy this one, but it's looking a little gray. I think we're gonna get, that one's good. It's got some nice fat and marbling in there. And then let's see. I look for one that's got a good shape. What is this one here? Even our ground beef prices are going up here. We used to pay about $2.50 a pound for this, only a month or so ago. But see, take a look at this. So if I buy the 88% just the ground beef, it's $3.98 a pound. But if I buy 90% patties, it's $3.64 a pound. And that's actually cheaper than buying the bags of them where they're already frozen. So we're gonna go ahead and get a pack of these. It's getting to the point where bison is cheaper than ground beef. The bison is $8 a pound. These are pretty good. 20 ounces per pack, and that's a perfect amount of food. Did you find our chicken? You want a bag of chickens? So kind of interesting, I was just looking at the briskets. The choice briskets are $4.12 a pound for the choice cut of meat, but they have the prime cut on sale for $4.18 a pound. Normally you're gonna see that for like a dollar or two dollars more a pound to buy prime beef, at just six cents, we're gonna go with the prime and make a nice brisket. I got super excited because I'm out of seltzer water. So I saw this Perrier at clearance price for $9.88 for a case, except for I was just looking at it and this is the Energize and the third ingredient is organic cane sugar. I really like the San Pellegrino mineral water during the holidays. Is there something about drinking out of a glass bottle when it's super cold? It just makes me feel really fancy. I do not understand why more people don't use Scan and Go. Look at this line to get out. If you use Scan and Go, all you have to do is scan everything as you put it in your basket and you can walk right out the front door and you don't have to wait on any lines. Are you ready to go? I just checked out with the Scan and Go. I am, and how much did we spend? $362. What? There's a lot of beef in here. There's a brisket. Should I put my tape back? There's steak. Do we need to wrap the presents? There's roast, there's chickens. We have a lot of meat. That's, that's at least two to three weeks worth of meat. So we have two chickens. One I'm gonna put on the Kamado Joe on the rotisserie. The other one I'm gonna cook in the Innova Precision oven. The one for the oven, I'm gonna spatchcock. And that's only because I'm still trying to learn how to use this. And there is a recipe on the app for making the chicken, but they call for spatchcocking it. And since I don't quite know the right settings yet, we're gonna try it that way. It should be about the same as the rotisserie. The spatchcocking just allows you to get the entire thing crispy, which you're gonna get the same results when you rotisserie. So the goal here is to see which one has a juicier chicken and which one's got the better crispy skin. So. I'm gonna spatchcock that. The only problem is I can't find any of my poultry shears. I have a feeling they kind of got old and somebody threw them out. So I'm gonna have to do it the old fashioned way with a knife and a pair of regular scissors. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cover this entire thing in salt to crisp up the skin a little bit. I'm gonna take some of this Redmond organic lemon pepper. Cover that on there too, and also get it in here. I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. Now I'm just gonna put these in the refrigerator and let them sit for a few hours. It would be best if we let it go overnight. That would really dry out the skin, but we want chicken today. So we're gonna just do the best we can. Alrighty. Yes, cause look at this. <laughs> I She cannot continue to use that. So we're gonna find some new toys. She's opening the garbage can, trying to get stuff out of the garbage can. Yeah. Are you so excited? What do you see? It's your colors too. It's so girly, I love it. Off to hide it. Oh, she's gonna take it into her cage. Now I'm going to slyly throw this one away. <laughs> That's so that she doesn't share it. She doesn't wanna share it. We have a rule in our house with the children and with the animals. 
The first day you get a new toy, you don't have to share it if you don't want to. I think she likes it. Do you like that? Yeah, you like that? She's like, can I have another one? Sure. I want another toy. Leave it to mommy. She can't have one at a time. What do you think about that? That's a weird mouth feel. Oh, I'm surprised it's not going straight to the cage. I think I like the other one I better. I think she likes the other one, but she's like, what else you got? Good? You like that? Good girl. Can I have it? Can I have it? No? Sit. Sit. Good girl. And Roscoe thinks you're making food. He's like, she's got food over there. She's got food. It's not for you. It's not for you, Roscoe. So we are reheating a roast in the sous vide mode. So the probe's at 110 degrees at 100% humidity. I'm hoping this works well. Are you really giving her all four at once? Yes, because I'm about to go over to her um, toy box and take out three more things and throw it away. Can I have that? Give me that. You ready? Go get it. Do we have a snack? Here you go. I reheated the roast in the uh, precision oven. So look at that. It's pretty much mm. like CV. It's still pink, even though we yeah. were reheating it in an oven because we were cooking it 100% humidity. This is awesome. I'm trying Let's to look for a one. see how it is. Wow. Just like sous vide it. Super, super tender. Do you want to go to the thrift store while we're waiting for the chicken to get a salt brine on it? I'm always in the mood to go to a thrift store. So I'm going to make the Maria Emmerich egg pudding, but I have an idea. I am going to use a packet of keto chow instead of using cocoa powder. I've seen some people talking about how, well, they add keto chow to the pudding. What if I eliminate the cocoa powder completely and just use keto chow? What do you think? Let's try it. I'm thinking lemon. Do lemon meringue. You could have like a lemon pudding. What do you think? Okay, so first of all, you just blew my mind because yeah, of course, the first thing I thought was, well, it could only be chocolate. But yeah, if Why you're Why not using, use lemon meringue? If you're using keto chow, it could be anything. Let's go ahead and try. So we'll do 10 eggs. We'll go with a half a cup of allulose. And we're gonna do two teaspoons of vanilla extract. We'll do 12 ounces of almond milk and two tablespoons of coconut cream. One pack of the keto chow lemon meringue. And let's make it a little bit more lemony with a couple of true lemon packets. Still farty? Oh my gosh. It's like lemon farts. Oh, that's awful. It's already thicker than the regular one. Very thick. Oh my gosh, it smells so bad. Ugh. Do you want to try taste it? No, no, no. We're just going to trust the process. I trust the process. <laughs> Big bag of stuff for under $30. Unfortunately, they never have anything for me because... 99% of the store is women's stuff. Sorry. There's like one rack of pants for men, and there's not one pair of pants in my size. <laughs> and they have about eight t-shirts in a large or in a medium, but and none much, of them are very good. How much women's stuff do they have, though? It's like the entire store, including like racks of brand new stuff. It's nice to and cheap. The only problem is you can't try anything on. So like all of the new things where it's like $8 for a pair of pants, you don't know if it's going to fit you. Joe just kind of spreads out like this and I just put it on and, and I just don't care if someone sees me. So what do you think? You want to go home and do fashion show? Yeah, I'll start the chicken, 
you know, the only problem with the chicken is it's going to take about an hour and a half. Are you good? Because yeah. it's already like six o'clock or something like that. No, I'm good. I mean, we had the beef. Right. So that, I mean, I feel great right now. Okay, we're going to take the chicken and put it on a pan. Now, again, probably should have let this salt brine overnight, but we want to eat chicken today. So I'm going to take this perforated pan they give you and or actually bought this. I'm going to spray with a little bit of avocado oil and then we're going to put the chicken on the pan. I'm actually going to take a paper towel and just kind of block this dry a little bit more. And then I'm going to put a little more of the lemon pepper on here. So I have the oven preheating. We have it set to 163 degrees in sous vide mode. And we're gonna put the probe in and we're gonna to go to 145 degree temperature for the probe. All right, you ready? Yep, let me see. Okay, first up is what I think will be a good Christmas dress. I like that, Look that was that. pretty. So this one is a size six and it was $15, but today was actually 50% off day. So this dress was 750. I really like that one. I'm excited about it. All right, next up. All right, next up is one that Joe picked out. I think oh, you I did like that one. this one. So this one is from Express. It's a size five. It was $10, but half off. So this was a $5 dress. I like that one. That I looks like it really too. good. It's got some fun sleeves. All right, here's another one Joe picked out. Ooh, Definitely gonna have to. I like that guy. one. It's a little too booby. But this was, this is a size small from Iris. It was $8, so we got it for four. So I like my, that one. My $4 dress. That's my favorite. Okay, so we've got it steam off. Sous vide, we've got it set to 173. It's gonna actually drop a little bit because I was preheating it. And then we're gonna put the probe in 145 degrees. So we're gonna put this here, put this pan on the bottom. So we can catch our drippings. Put the chicken in, and then we will connect the, the probe. Here we go. All right, next up is a sweater, which I probably wouldn't wear with these pants, but I was just looking for something neutral to go with it. I was actually looking for balloon arm sweaters. I'm like, lucky I actually found one. This one is an extra small from Status. It was $4, so we paid $2 for it. And I think it's a good, you know, harvest autumn time color, and it's very, very light, so I can dress for the season, but be in Florida. Next up is a cute little sleeved tank top shirt. So this is from New York and Company. It's an extra small it was $8, so we paid $4 for it. And I try not to reach for black all the time. That's what feels natural to me because I always wore black or dark gray for years and years. But when they have, um, when they have some kind of fun sleeve, that, that's when I'm like, okay, I'll pick up the black. So here's another one Joe picked out. This is a Beau Beau, size small. We got it for $5, but half off that, so $2.50. I really like that. I like it because I wear a lot of tank top stuff and it's nice to just have a light sweater over it. Okay, last but not least has me wanting to watch The Addams Family because Wednesday. So uh, this is a Forever 21. It was $5, so we got it for $2.50 too. So I think we did a pretty good fashion show. I got three dresses, two sweaters, and two shirts for $29. Okay, so this is the one from the Innova Precision Oven. For the first time, I don't think it's too bad, I left it in for like crisping up the skin a little bit too long. I thought I had a timer on it and I didn't, so I only, it was supposed to be for like 10 minutes and it was in there for like 15 or 20 minutes. Doesn't look terrible though. The one for the rotisserie is still going. Mm. Wow. So, try to skin first. It's really good. Oh my gosh, look at how juicy that is. Yeah, you can see there's a lot of juices in that chicken. That is crazy. Wow. Wow. I'm very impressed with that. This is not a Costco chicken. <laughs> right? Like, it's just so flavorful. Mmm. That is good. That is good. I'm wondering, all eating the way all through. of this chicken, like this white meat, mm -hmm. like what is it gonna do to us tomorrow? Mm. 
Now this is very, very lean. I am not gonna lie, I'm enjoying it right now. So, probably eat some butter or something later to kind of up the fat. This is good. And unfortunately, <laughs> my kitchen shears are missing, so I ordered a new set. Otherwise, I would have been able to spatchcock it a little bit better. Mm. I want to try another one as a whole chicken and not spatchcocking it. But doing it this way, it would be much better had I not like cut the skin where it started shrinking on the chicken. But oh my goodness. I'm pretty happy, especially with the tenderness of the, the breast meat. I'm excited about wings in here because these are delicious. They're crazy good. Mm-hmm. These are really good. Speaking of wing, here we go. So good. I have a wing. Mm. Oh yeah. Nice crispy skin. Here's the thing. It's nice, plump, moist, and there's nothing injected into it. No. Okay, this is the rotisserie version. So we'll go ahead and cut this one up and try that one. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Liquid gold? It's kind of awesome. Number two. <sighs> okay, let's see. I gotta start with the skin. I gotta say the skin on the other one. But that's because I overdid it, I think. Yeah. And again, this one, we, we needed to salt brine this more. Mmm. But well, it's flavorful. Oh, good. Dude. I don't think I've ever had such juicy chicken. Mmm. As far as the meat itself, that is crazy. They're both really juicy. It's so weird to just be eating chicken instead of beef. I'm it, so used to eating so much beef. It is weird, isn't it? And, and I mean, it's good, but when you compare it to the flavor of beef. Chicken, it's not beef. <laughs> It is really juicy though, it's really good. So this is our experiment of, what is eating a whole bunch of chicken breast gonna do to us? Cause this isn't wings. Why do we keep doing this before I've got the whole day at church tomorrow? Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh well. Oh my gosh, listen to that skin. Mm. Here's the bite right here, the skin bite. Mmm. <laughs> Pretty good. This is delicious. I feel like the skin from over there was even better on the yeah. first one. And I think it would have been better if we, again, would have salt brined it for more than two hours, especially mm. on the rotisserie because of the way you're cooking it. You, you want that nice dry skin when you start so that you can get that nice crispy skin. The inside of this one though is even more moist than the last yeah. one. I don't know also, how that happened. Also, I did not coat the one for the rotisserie. Usually I would spray some with oil. I did not do that on the rotisserie and that aids in crisping up the skin as well. Wow. I forgot, I forgot to put a little bit of avocado oil on so it. So this is with nothing? There's no oil on this one at all. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and try this. Mm. I like the flavor. Yeah. On this one better. I do too. But, but that's I like because the skin it's cooked over charcoal. One. Yep. You know, being cooked over charcoal makes a huge difference in flavor. You taste it all the way through. Mm-hmm. They're both good. Really good. Especially, again, when it comes to the juiciness of the chicken. It's not like dried out. Like a lot of times no. you cook something in an oven and stuff and it dries it out. In neither one is it dry. Yeah. Neither, neither one is dry. I like the inside of the of this one from the Kamado Joe, and I like the outside of the other one from this thing. But if you weren't going side by side, would you like the inside of the one from the Precision Oven? Oh yeah, I mean you saw the better than like when we would bake it in an oven or something. Like <laughs> oh my that. gosh, yes, it's like night and day. Usually it's dry. Mm-hmm. Well, we're gonna finish eating, and we're gonna end this vlog right here because it is. What is it? It is nine o'clock, so it's it's time to finish up and get ready for bed because we got church tomorrow. We do. 
you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we have a ton of chicken, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.